Have you ever wanted to be me? No, me neither. But through advanced secret technology, called carrying a camera around with you all the time, you can now live my life for a week. That's right, you, lucky viewer, sitting right there right now, just you, I'm giving you a unique opportunity to live my life. So if you choose to carry on watching this video, you will become Rob Wong for one week. Well, not an actual week, it's kind of edited down. But luckily for you, it's all the crappy and boring bits of my life that are edited out. So you just get the good parts of my life, which I wish I had that privilege because I don't. So for seven actual days at all times, I had at least one camera on my person, on my body, in a pocket, around my neck. So in total, over that week, I actually recorded one hour and 40 minutes of raw footage, which is a lot more than I planned to film. And I had to go through it all and cut it down and you are left with this 12 minute video, which you are about to watch. So sit back, relax and enjoy one week of my life as you become Rob Wong. Morning, it's Friday morning, it's half past nine. Uh, feeling surprisingly good, considering I got about five hours sleep because I was up so late, uh, sort of editing and exporting the video. And there we go, it is live. Chris, how was your day? Uh, it was fine, it was quite, quite good. Look how pretty it's life is though. Work. I know, how nice and blue that is. The Langham Max. Hotel. Should we, um, should we get a room to freshen up our relationship? I've got a room, mate. I've got a recurring, <laughs> recurring cooking. Just for all the different honeys I meet in uh, central London. Honeys? Hey! Who do we call some honeys anymore? Regent Street Lights turned on by Take That last week. Were you there? No. I was in the line, but I gave up because I didn't have enough patience. <laughs> <laughs> what are you cooking, mate? Pasta. Mm -hmm. And ostrich! Oh man, ostrich again! Are you alright? Do you even YouTube, bro? Bro, do you even YouTube? <laughs> what am I even doing? Oh, Chris, put a kiwi in the pasta and I'll turn the camera on. It'll be funny and I'll pay you. Never get serious bloody money for it though, do I? You okay, hon? I hope so. So I hear you're struggling for money while you were... Uh, while you were in college. Would you like to make a quick book? I'm just really into the sound of sizzling bacon. See, it's not a bad bake. But... Lettuce? Yeah, I'm always oh. game for lettuce. I'm always game for venison as well. <laughs> All packed up for our late night drive to Derby. Chris, we're about to leave you okay. for a weekend. Look, there's some chocolate hidden under the egg box in the okay. fridge. Okay. That should keep you going until I'm back. Oh no, it's this guy. Rob, how do I get away from the fucking purple frog? Frog. We're gonna leave Chris to the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Don't you dare pull in front of me. Thank you. Maybe this could be a new vlog. Driving in London, isn't it shit? Hoping to get home before the shipping forecast. That is uh, our main goal. Am I in the right lane? Who knows? It's part of the fun of driving in London. Concrete jungles where dreams are made of no. And I wonder why I always travel alone. There is no fear now. Oh, nailed it. Me and Katie, man. Me and me and the Pezza. Me and the Capers. The Capers. Oh, the feels in this song, man. The feels are real. What's on Radio 4? The recent past over the last five Oh, years. it's World Service. We missed the shipping forecast, guys. No! How will I know the ocean's condition? I uh, missed the turning and I should have stayed on the M1 and I didn't and this is my jam! This is my jam, guys! Here we go. Cause I ain't seen you naked yet I want you pretty Every single thing you do Every time I look at you I become a sleeper Hey, so we eventually made it to Derby. Uh, it's only quarter to three in the morning. Got a proper scummy vibe about it, hasn't it? It's a home sweet home. What's this method? Getting the oil out. Scooping. <laughs> scooping. The, <laughs> the ancient method of scooping. Is this a dream? This is so surreal. Travelled halfway across the country for that. Totally worth it. That petrol tank. <laughs> Shit. Hello, good morning. It's early it's like 9 a.m um i'm i'm in in derby as you can tell look at the gray tinge everything has 
Whoa! That's not a lane! <laughs> Hi Verity. Hi. How are you? I'm good. So we've got some after eights in the fridge? Yeah. What kind of savage are you? Keep them cool, we'll get all melty. We've got chocolate in the fridge. You okay? You okay, huh? Milk in a bag? Yep. Hey! <laughs> Camera film. Should I keep my SD cards in the fridge? I'm um, possibly not. This guy thinks he can fit in the space next to me when he definitely can't. Oh no, he can fit in. Optimism. Works. Best thing about coming back to Derby. Get inside me. Grandad, tell us the truth. <laughs> have you been to a strip club? I think you have. I'm quite stressed at the moment. I'm just yeah, I think trying you have. to get. <laughs> What lad? How does this make you feel? No, no. <laughs> Such a caring <laughs> wife. <laughs> Amazing. Where's Amy? Amy Pond. Isn't that? No, that's not Amy Pond. <laughs> I got orange trousers mixed up with orange hair. We're here at Walmart. I'm not in Walmart. I'm in Asda. It's for the American audience. I'm an American audience. Don't lie. <laughs> All right, sassy. I've not reach past London. The sass is real. Is this a real game? What are you getting today, Rob? Today we're getting a rice cooker. Two rice cookers. So we've got two rice cookers and we've got some rice. Bag of rice. Just have an Asian night in. Yeah. Come on, I'm bleeding out! I'm bleeding out! I can see the light at the end of the... Oh, thank you. How did you get insta-kill? Don't question my tactics! Do you ever give the zombies backstories? Steve was the quiet one in the office. He was the first to be infected. No, he's dead. No, neither do I. Yay, it's officially 3am on Sunday. Let's play Guess Why Rob is Still Awake. Yep, working on a video. Um, I always seem to film you eating quite a lot. Me? Yeah, I've got quite a lot of just dead footage of you eating. What's, what's good, Larry? What was it? Chips be good. Mm. Chips be good. And it is live! And that is how videos get put on the internet. I'm packing my apple tree into my car and I'm taking it back to London and then live my dream life of Animal Crossings in real life. What is going on? Would you let me see beneath your beautiful Real deep on tonight's drive. Emily Sunday hit me! You let all the girls go Deep beneath your beautiful tonight That is legitimately one of my favourite songs that has ever been recorded Ooh, And we're back in London We made it back to London town after uh, quite an exhausting drive from Derby And now I'm definitely ready to go to sleep What time is it? It is ten past midnight But everything's fine, everything's good I'm just going to do a bit of unpacking, drink some herbal tea And then get some coop Hello, it's Monday morning, it's about half past eight and I'm just doing some packing. We're going to get on a train and go to Media City in Salford. Everyone's just taking pictures of Media City. <laughs> We're such media people. Are we fanboying over buildings right now? You are on the same channel as the infamous Dot Who debrief. Good. How do you? I'm beyond that. How do you feel? I'm proud. I've watched. I think I've watched. I don't know if I've watched it before. You, <laughs> do you not recognise me? I'm one half of Dot Who debrief. I've so rude. Okay, so we're in the hotel. That day, just leaving food outside. Apparently it's a thing. Right, where are we? Aha, this is my room. We're in. Right, what have we got? It's very nice as well. Very fancy. And most of all, I am hyped about tea and coffee facility. It's quite sad that there's uh, mugs for two and it's just going to be me. Soup of the moment. It's so spontaneous. It's not even soup of the day. Everything that I've ever dreamed of. My name on a television set. Well, I don't know how you two are going to Is it gripping that, television? Sorry, go pig. You know. <laughs> so it turns out this isn't the kind of hotel where you get a toothbrush and don't have one with me. There you go, you hear that? Squeaky clean. So I'm probably hygienic in the mouth, maybe? Lateral thinking. Lateral thinking for you there. <laughs>
Hello, it's Tuesday. Uh, the time is quarter past seven in the morning. I didn't even know this time still existed. I've not seen it since I was in secondary school. I should get my flatmate a present from Salford, really. Yeah, that'll do. The worst thing this hotel ever did was give me access to unlimited bacon. When they look at their profits and see that they've lost loads of money, where was it? It was in the bacon pit. Lewis Hamilton's race car. Please don't flush. Nappies, your ex's sweater. Hopes, dreams or goldfish down this toilet. So no, nice trip up to the north, but now we're in London and we're going to stay here for a little bit and just... Just relax for once, just recharge the batteries, I think. Hello, it's Wednesday, and this is the first day in forever that I've not had to set an alarm. Yesterday I was up at quarter to seven in the morning. Today, no alarm. Ten past two in the afternoon. I, I don't even know, I'm not even mad. I'm, I'm actually impressed with myself. My floor drobe has gotten out of control. <laughs> I've just got just stuff everywhere, including one Direction's new album, just on the side. So by this point in the day, most people will have got up, had breakfast, gone to work, probably had their lunch break, and be sitting back at their desk by now. I am still in my dressing gown, and I've got a curry being reheated in the microwave for breakfast. This is the dream. Here at the Warner Brothers Studios on my own. What is, what is happening? And what my colleague is going to do, who's going to ignite them in a few moments, is real fire. So stand back on three, Mr. Steve. One, two, three, fire! He's already done, that's fine. What's that armour for Dobby? I've not read the book. They're actually massive. Actual massive chests. Here we are outside number three, Privet Drive. Uh, and I've got some butter beer, which would have cost 2 95 for this little tiny cup if I wasn't here on a VIP tour. Magic. Uh, werewolf vagina. So Harry Potter studio tour was sick. And I didn't admit to this on the tour when everyone was super hyped, super keen for Harry Potter. Never read any of the books. But I mean, the props were awesome. The sets were amazing to see up front. Did I clean my floor drobe from earlier? Uh oh. It's expanded. Has it now moved onto my bed as well as my floor? Um, yeah. Whoops, I meant to be a grown up by now. Just on our way into work. Are we running late? No, not at all. But it's fine, always time to vlog. Is it weird to get FOMO for work? Fear of missing out and I'm a little bit like, what if they're doing something awesome without me? That's pretty sad, isn't it? But I guess quite good in a way. Oh, he's landing some sick combos on you, sir. Hmm. Sorry, what was that noise? Oh. Dun, 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 dun. What are this? Shit, I told him I should have gordoed. Oh, yes, son! <laughs> I'm so happy. I think that might be the best moment of my life so far. Hi, guys. Uh, cleared up my floor drobe a little bit. Still got studio equipment everywhere. Uh, just finished recording a vlog, uh, which is called Tourists Are Weird. That's it, you followed a week of my life. How does it feel? Was it what you expected? So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video and look after yourselves.